not making money with your side hustle or your business is not growing fast enough, learn the one thing that you should focus on and the six areas in that one thing to improve yourselves. Stay tuned. Hey, social media family, T. Mr. Legacy Builder Moore here, and thanks for tuning in to Moore TV, where we provide you lifestyle lessons with myself and my family, business growth information, so you can take your side hustle or business to the next level, and everything real estate. Let's get into it. So, you here today because you're having a problem with your side hustle, where you're not making that money that you're trying to get off of it. Or maybe your business is not growing. So, that one thing that you need to fix, you already know what it is. It's sales. Yes, it is. Sales. So, a lot of people think that sales is just a simple interaction, a simple thing. It's just one thing to fix. But within sales, you can add so many people. A lot of people have 20 different steps, 15 different steps. Hope I'm here to tell you that we, meaning my real estate company and everybody that is part of the T family, we believe that sales has six parts. So over the next three videos that I produce about business growth and making money today by curing this thing, I'm going to share these things with you because I'm all about being precise getting to the bottom and not wasting your time. So let's get into these six areas of sales that when you revisit them, improve them, or practice them, it will definitely improve your bottom line for your side hustle, something that you're doing on the side, or for those who have a business and a business which is a system that's owned by a company is how they make their money. So the first thing, number one, your prospecting. Prospecting is the most important area because it's the beginning of the actual sales process. What prospecting is, it's the way you will connect with people. Whether it's people you know, people you don't know, or people you hope to know through other people. Prospecting is very important because having a clear way to prospect is key to making sure that you have the right people in your system. So how do you improve prospecting? Prospecting can simply be improved by simply stepping back and doing market research on your audience whether you have a business and you got to do that market research that every business owner does or if you got a side hustle you should step back and just ask yourself okay what problem am i solving when i first started in real estate and didn't know anything i had to focus on one area and then i had to being that in real estate it's a service business i had to ask myself who was i trying to help first was I trying to help the really expensive property owners? Was I trying to help the people who were in the middle? Was I trying to help the people who did not have that much money and was going through a lot of stuff? So prospecting is very important because it starts with you knowing who your audience are. Once you know who your audience are, if it's a lot of people or who your audience is, if it's one specific type of group, prospecting becomes easy because then you're able to qualify that person carefully which leads us into number two number two on the sales process list is your approach and your content meaning how you connect with people and make that initial connection and what you're saying this could be through social media as far as the content, which is the copy editing, 
or the actual context, which is the picture and how you're connecting and getting through and trying to lure your audience back to you to let them know that you provide the solution to their problem, whether it's a product that they need to make their life better or it's a service that you provide that makes things better, efficient, faster, or anything like that. Your approach and your content, what you're saying, your script, you know, your introduction, um, whether it's, hey, how you doing? My name is Terrence Moore, and you go into it, what do you do? I provide this type of service or anything of that nature your approach and your content is very important in the six steps of a successful sales process that I'm going to be giving you. So that's it for today, for now. It's just those two steps. You know, that step one in the sales process, which is your prospecting. You want to make sure that you know who your audience is. You want to really kind of make sure that you took a minute and asked yourself who you're going to help, meaning what type of problem you're going to solve, whether it's with a service or a product, and who specifically you feel has this problem. Because once you understand that, everything else is easier. From there, your approach and your content, how you're going to connect with that person, what you're going to say to that person. Does, is there a script that you're going to have in memory when you're interacting with that person? In real estate, as a investor, a real estate entrepreneur and investor, when we buy property, we buy property from property, we buy problem properties, fire damage properties, excuse me, absentee owner properties, vacant properties, um, upside down properties, pre foreclosures, the 5%, the properties that are heartaches and can't be sold or people just need to get rid of immediately. You know, we don't really target the 95%. We just really focus on that 5%. So knowing who we target, you've heard me say a lot of people. However, when we get down to the nitty gritty, specifically, we target only three, maybe five areas specifically. So that's knowing our prospect and knowing how we're targeted because now that we know who we're targeting and what areas, now we focus on what we're going to say, which is that marketing content that comes in play and how we're going to approach them, meaning what type of social media platforms we're going to use, what wording, what pictures, what video, all that's in your approach. So this is T, Mr. Legacy Builder Moore here. I'm so happy you guys Got on with me. Question of the day. Do you have a business or a side hustle? And do you know your audience? It's a two-part question. Feel free to answer it in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. As well as if you have any comments about the video or the site, be sure to comment below as well. Make sure you like and subscribe for future videos. Hit that bell as well so that you'll get the notification of when the next stage and the next part of this three-part series video is coming. And that way you can have all six steps to the sales process. I want you to have a great day today. And remember, change your mind, change your world. You can do this. God bless. Peace.